I'm doing it. Hi, everybody. I'm in the kitchen. My fiance asked me to make Rice Krispies squares. <laughs> so I'm like, do I upload a video or do I make Rice Krispies squares? And that was yesterday. And yesterday's like, I want you to make Rice Krispies squares, but not at 11 o'clock. And I'm like, I want to, like, the video has to be uploaded at 11 o'clock. Wake up a little late and still undecided. I was planning to finish making my video today. Uh, the video is almost done, but instead I decided to, well, I decided I was in bed and I'm getting told like, are you making Rice Krispies squares? I'm like, do you want me to live stream them? Or do you want me to put a video up and then make them for you later? And he's like, I want Rice Krispies squares. I'm like, looks like I'm going to be live streaming. Them. <laughs> so here I am. Hi, everybody. There's the mess in the background or part of it. Hi. Let me just, uh, see how I can turn on chat so I could see. Or did they just pop up? I guess I'll, hi, I'll just have to like see as things pop up because I don't know who's on until you guys uh, make a comment. And so feel free, welcome to my kitchen that's not yet fully clean, but I said, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start making Rice Krispie squares. I have not had breakfast, so if you hear my stomach grumbling, that's what that is. But here we go. I need to take out a uh, margarine and we do have enough. I use a, a big bucket here and I see the pop fairy did not come in and um, put pop in the fridge. I just, this is my morning breakfast, my morning breakfast, my morning drink. I don't do uh, coffee. I do water and I do pop, but I've been very, this video is not sponsored. Oh, but I'm starving. Anyways, how to make Rice Krispies squares. You know what, guys? This video might be a very quick fail because the recipe's inside. So it's not a fail. Yeah, three ingredients probably and how to make four ingredients. Vanilla extract is optional and I'm most definitely going to be using vanilla extract. Let me pull that sucker out. What are you guys doing on this Tuesday? Tuesday, Wednesday, my vanilla extract, nice big container, and uh, so yeah, we got the Rice Krispies, uh, the ingredients, uh, ingredients, the list of, uh, list of the recipe is inside here, yeah, guys, feel free to laugh, so we got here, quarter cup of margarine, uh, 250 grams or five cups of marshmallows or 40 regular. Should we be counting 40 regular? We could. I could find out unless it says even in here how many there are. This is 400 grams. They said they wanted 250. So it's 150 more. So you know what? We'll just use the bag. Hi. Thanks for joining. We'll just use the bag and uh, make a little bit more marshmallows, add a little bit of more margarine, and probably a little bit more extract. I don't really care, right? So, microwave directions. In a microwavable bowl, microwave margarine on high, 30 seconds. Add marshmallows, toss in coating, microwave high, stir, cooking time for 400 microwave ovens, increase 30 seconds. Oh, so they're just telling. Yeah, so I've done saucepans before, melting the marshmallows in saucepans, and it's very messy. So I have done it since in the microwave, and it has helped, but um, how much has it helped? It still makes a mess, and so I still need to... What do I still need to do? I still need to clean it or get my fairy to clean it. <laughs> and um, I'm so happy the cat's not in the sink because he was in the sink earlier and that was that was quite a sight. Um, he was licking the remnants of the bowls, the mess that's here. The dishwasher was finally installed. Uh, but it's not turning on. So we'll have to play around with that. But anyways, here's my bowl. And I think I'm doing the margarine inside. Um, melting it inside here and then putting the stuff in. 
Let me take a look at it again. <laughs> That's how I'm reading it. So I don't want to tear the box in case we're not using all the Rice Krispies squares. Milk margarine in a large saucepan? No. In a microwavable bowl, microwave margarine at high, 30 seconds, or until melted, or add marshmallows. So they want a quarter cup of margarine. So I'm going to do three quarters, let's say. Let's go back to my friend here, the measuring cups. And I have here quarters, so we'll use that. And hang on one sec. And we'll use this baby for getting the Rice Krispies squares. Hi! And feel free to ask any questions. We can have any conversation. Any within reason. Always do this. Uh, okay. Or water. Here, let's do the water take. I like to just, I don't know. Make sure they're like extra clean or something. So yeah, we were doing with the margarine. Margarine is in here. And I'll just do, what did I say? It was a quarter. Did I say three quarters? I think I said three quarters, right? Quarter cup. I'm not going to do three quarters. Quarter cup. So this is one quarter. Ah! Here's one quarter, and I'll toss this baby in here. And maybe in a, to make less noise, I'll use a spoon. Oh my god, we have dirty spoons. Because I'm looking inside, and there's not that many inside the, that cabinet. There's the cockroach! Yes, leave it. He loves margarine, and Pepper might join. They love margarine. And yeah, I failed at uh, telling them to not do that. I'm going to add a little bit of a little bit more, because, you know, more is more. And the doggy's coming! Hi, Wandy! Hi, my baby. Mommy's so hungry. She hasn't eaten nothing. You're not, are you going to supervise, or are you not going to supervise? You're not sure yet? What I also do is I take a plate... And I just rest my things on the plate. And look, the cat is coming through here. Do you mind? Uh, he has to talk always. Okay, so we're going to toss this in the microwave for 30 to 60 seconds. So I guess we're going to listen for it to sizzle. Start with 30 seconds. So, what do you guys usually eat for breakfast? What I eat for breakfast, have been eating for breakfast, are two cinnamon cinnamon rolls uh, with my Coke. <laughs> Hi, welcome. And uh, water. I could uh, get water from the fridge. Uh, but that's just making more noise for you guys. You may not want it. You probably don't even want to eat me. Eat me. Want me. Want to watch me eat cinnamon uh, rolls. It's not ready. Oh my god, there. It's not ready. I just don't want it to pour out. So I have to put it in for longer. That was 30 seconds, so not enough. Okay, while we're doing this, add marshmallows, stir until melted while blend. Melt marshmallows. Okay, microwave margarine. Add marshmallow or until melted. So we have to wait for that to finish melting. And then we add marshmallows, tossing to coat. Microwave on high. Okay, so maybe I should read it to myself and then say it out to you. Um, this is my first time doing a feed like this. I've done on Twitch where it's still not ready. Oh, and it's stinky. So what I've done is I've made uh, muffins and jello, or I think I just made muffins and there was no time to make jello on live stream on Twitch. And this time I'm making brownies because I am an expert. Are these called connoisseurs or are these just like chef? <laughs> and by no means am I, I'm just making fun of it. And you know, you got to start somewhere and you got to show off what you know how to do. Because, you know, I'm so proud. I'm going to make Rice Krispies Corps. Such a joke. Such a joke. Okay. 
Okay. Minute and a half, I guess, we're going for. And once that's done, I'm going to take out uh, the marshmallows. Use scissors, which are here, because I moved my uh, utensil holder so I can position the, I might burp. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, so I can position the camera, the phone, on the, what's it called, the stick, camera stick, wand, that thing. Uh, okay, marshmallows, margarine, and we have this hot, it's hot now. It's hot. Hi, welcome. Feel free to ask questions. I am making Rice crispy Squares. I am taking out the super hot margarine. It's completely melted. Urgh, yellow yolk. I just don't want it to pour out, like I said earlier. And we are tossing all these. I'm like, I want big marshmallows. Again, go big, right? So, they may take longer to melt now that I think about it, but you know what? Let's try it. And I am a big uh, person into recycling. I'm a, I don't, I'm not even speaking properly. I am big into recycling. So this lovely bag becomes a poop bag when I go on outings. How do you use it, you ask? Because you want to know. <laughs> Flip it. I make myself a hole and then I just grab it and uh, bring it back up. And then I walk around like this. That's my bag. My poop bag. So I feel so much better. I feel so good using these. People probably must think like, wow, this girl has no money. So let them. I'm not uh, throwing this out into the uh, garbage without using it. And recycling people have always been removing the bags from my recycling bins. They'll like leave it on the grass or on the, or on the uh, driveway or on the street. Like they just like throw it out. It's like, nope, that's not recyclable. It's like, can you not try? Because if you can recycle this and, you know, other plastic, you can recycle this. I take that back because this is a different type of plastic. Of course, this is not plastic and that takes a long time. So anyways, back to my uh, thing on using the bag, uh, reusing the bag for poop. Aren't we having great conversations? Yeah, let's get back to the marshmallows. <laughs> So here they are, and I can use my spoon for uh, coating it. Okay, guys? And that's what we are doing. And it is kind of, uh, it's getting sticky. It's melting a little bit because, uh, you know, the margarine is hot. As you know, let me know who bakes well here. And if you guys have any uh, recipes here, something particularly for low sugar or uh, low little egg, um, yeah. yeah. Oh, egg, milk, I can't, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't have milk or cream, so that does take a lot of uh, recipes off the table. Uh, but at the same time, there are um, substitutes that can be made, right? So that's good. Anyways, this looks nice and pretty. And now I think I stick it back in the microwave. Let's see here. Microwave on high for one, one and a half minutes until smooth when stirred, stirring after 45 seconds. Follow step two and three above. Step two is stir in vanilla. Step three is lightly battered spatula. Press into a pen, nine by 13, and then cut into squares. So, that's another thing. Yes. I made Rice Krispies first. The last time I made them was, I don't know, three months ago. And I didn't try the Rice Krispies squares and I have a lot of cereals, a lot of different variety and I'll try using it and then I start eating it and then I don't end up eating it. And what happened was I, <clears throat> I didn't eat it. I used, I'm like, oh, it's here. Might as well, you know, a whole bag, might as well use it. It was all stale. 
So I ate one. I'm like, this tastes weird, like different. It's not like the Rice Krispies taste that I know that's sweet. And let me put this in for 45 seconds. Okay, 45. And, um, and I couldn't. And my fiance's like, no, I'm not eating it. You can have it. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to put it to waste. You know, I want to use everything. Try another. I'm like, oh, I can't. It's like stale. And then that's like the, the rice, the marshmallows were like syrupy, like, like uh, gooey on top of, I don't, how do you explain it? Like, it was more like you're eating something stretched out long, like sugar, like, but not a flavorful because it was mixed in with the staleness of the Rice Krispies. And I had to throw it out. And then I'm like, I'm not making Rice Krispies crust. And he's like, you know, you were using stale cereal, you use newer cereal. Like, uh, you know, we'll buy a new box. We bought a new box. There it is. And I, I'm like, I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm like, we can buy and see if I like it, but I don't want to eat any. Sorry, I don't want to make any. And finally, I'm like, I'm okay. I'm ready to make. So here we are. And now I'm looking for my spatula. This baby, which again, I will rinse. Because you guys don't want to see me blowing at it. And I don't want to blow on it. Plus it's rubber. It's not even going to work. It's just going to stay stuck to it. So, kind of looks the same. That was my stove top. It's okay. And so I am flattening them. Some of them, the middle ones, are getting squished. Two on the outside are not. So it's looking like this. That's much better. And then I can, what can I do? Just flip. It looks like egg yolk underneath that yellow margarine. You know what I love also? Making um, simple recipes. You make uh, popcorn, you melt white chocolate, you crunch up candy canes, and then you put that in. And it is so good. It's so good. I actually see. A dog hair. My friends are never going to eat my food now. <laughs> I shouldn't even be showing this. <laughs> or, the, or people who don't have pets are going to be like, ooh. I'm never eating from a dog owner's house again. It's like, you know, this is not a dying safe place. <laughs> it's not contamination free, but I'm also not wearing a hairnet. Hi, welcome. I'm making Rice Krispie squares. Here's my attempt. Uh, hopefully it'll taste better than the last time. I'm putting it in for 45 seconds again, and then I'm gonna stir it again. And how many cups are we putting in? We are going to put in. So we put a little bit of more. So they wanted six cups of oh, vanilla first. So half a teaspoon. So I'll just go nuts and I'll put one teaspoon. And then uh, they want six cups. So I'll do eight cups, which is, uh, oh, two of these. Because this goes up to four cups. There we go. I'm hungry. Mm. Hungry, thirsty. I want water. And hopefully it'll fit into this baby, which I again will will be cleaning it because I see that the handle is dirty. Hi, welcome. So, oh, and that was a warm minute. And that's empty, I take it. Are we having fun? What do you guys do in the kitchen? Welcome, welcome. This was supposed to be clean, but it's not. It, the inside is looking all right, but the uh, handle is filthy. Oh look, I have a cockroach, guys. It's a black cockroach. There's this big one here. He comes around pretty much every time someone's in the kitchen. And oh my god, god forbid the fridge opens. 
he go he comes up from the dead of sleep. There he goes. And it's so funny because he will waiting for the water to get hot. He will uh, come from the dead of sleep and he's like this. But he's sitting on the counter waiting for like what food is coming or is it milk? Because he's highly obsessed with milk. You can see in my other videos. He's a milk lover. Okay. This nice pan is clean now for the Rice Krispies. Welcome. Feel free to say hi. Because I'm not seeing comments. So welcome. I'm making Rice Krispies squares. I think you've been here to hear me say that. Here's the second with the microwave. Here's the second uh, time I've microwaved it. And they wanted it for 45 seconds. But I did it for, excuse me, excuse me, drinking pop. I'm at home, it's okay, welcome to my home. And um, this is almost, you hear it? Nice, nice. You know, you can like buy this, right? And they, uh, you know what, I'm done. This is done, this is done. This can totally be Rice Krispies and the um, vanilla extract. So we're using vanilla extract. I can close the microwave soon, but I'm just going to use the spoon that had the butter that I think fell on the floor, but I'm not seeing it. I can call the dog over. Mondi, come! This is a raised bungalow so she came from downstairs look right there somewhere she's my compost if you guys have pets you can probably well especially a dog you can relate i'm doing two teaspoons of vanilla extract because the recipe does call for one cat and dog don't scare your sister but um it's called, but I'm using more marshmallows than needed because I decided to use the pack, which is 400 grams instead of 250. So here's my vanilla extract, and now I'm going to be mixing it. Just to, oh, it smells like alcohol. Holy, which I haven't been drinking. Everything's just sitting there. It's so weird. Even like the seasonal one that I had left over from last year, it was peppermint. Seasonal, like Christmas was three months ago. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. I think I'm just gonna pour it on top. So, if you guys want to see, yeah, here's the other patch. I used 400 grams instead of 250. And here's my four cups of Rice Krispies. I need four so it's a little bit over no big deal right uh, so I'll make it under because the recipe again calls for four cups I am using six so now I'll be going down to two cups right here maybe I if I do less they're gonna be chewier so let's see what this is this is one and a quarter to me So I'll toss that in and I hope that's good. I did, like I said, go over with the marshmallows. So I had to go over with the butter, margarine. I should have probably worn my apron because, you know, okay. <laughs> Let's do this. So you guys can see what comes down my shirt. Mondi, the dog is going to eat it. And now we have, you know what, this is a lot of uh, creamy marshmallows. That's my sad cat who claims he never gets fed. I can to okay, I totally need to add more. Look, there's so much white in there. I need to add more Rice Krispies. Let's just uh, ballpark it. That's the attempt of what's happening now. And I should probably do this. And 
And uh, I tied my hair half up. Because I was thinking, just in case. This is so creamy. Baby! Do you want more cream? He didn't want to be in the video. Where's the cat? There's the cat. Look at that monster. The cockroach and everything. Guinness, do you mind? It's not for you. It's definitely not for you. We have to hide stuff in the microwave. Like after it's cooked, it has to go in the microwave or in the oven. Um, so that... So that he doesn't get at it. Because if you see other videos, he's licking the pot and uh, he's going, yeah, he goes after the milk. He goes into everything. It is so creamy. I, this is too much cream for me. And I'm calling it creamy because it's so damn white. I have to add even more marshmallows. And this time I'm going to pay attention where I'm pouring it and hold the pop so it just comes out from this little corner. I'm such a pro at baking, can you tell? Uh, no bake baking? <laughs> When I was calling this uh, title of this uh, live stream, I was like, oh, look at that. Mm. It's, it's much better than my stale ones that I made a few months ago. And yeah, I'll share that with you because it's such a disappointment. More weight! It's so, it's so, uh, there's so much. So I think if I do, or when I do the next 400 grams, of the marshmallows I'm going to do seven cups seven cups of Rice Krispies and I think that'll be good and I have my pan which he has not sniffed yet as far as I know you guys can tell me what you see and there's that thing you know he does he, when the when the dish when the sink is empty he'll sit in there and you're coming up the stairs and you're seeing this cat like um oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> you see this cat peering from the countertop and he's just looking at the faucet is it gonna come out or he'll have like his paw and he'll be like and yesterday he was so nasty he was licking it. He was like in here and he's just licking that thing. It's like, oh, cat, you're gross. I know it's nothing gross about that, but at the same time, if you see a cat doing it, you'd be like, what the bleep? I can't get over how much white stuff there is here. You know what? Let's try it having a creamy like this. I had friends um, at a, was it a Christmas Halloween party last year? If you're on, hi guys. Um, they made such amazing... Um, Rice Krispies, I was just eating it and eating it. I'm like, where is this recipe? They had added chocolate eyes to, um, no, chocolate eyes. So the Rice Krispies squares were like this big. <clears throat> this, this wide or, or diameter and then like this thick. And half of it was like in blue or orange high uh, chocolate. And they had put googly eyes on it, so it was like a ghost, I think it was. It was outrageous. I, I had six, maybe, like, of these monsters. I'm like, here's my new diet. <laughs> hmm. So once my cinnamon rolls are done for breakfast, I can move into that? Is that another safe, healthy alternative, guys? I'm, uh, I'm not joking. I mean, it's funny, but I would eat that for breakfast with an apple because you got to balance right so like back in the day when I would eat chocolate I stopped eating chocolate bars um, probably five months ago now almost five months ago and when I would eat them I'd have my water with it so I'm uh, balancing it out right chocolate <laughs> I'm drying my pan here chocolate with water it's a balanced diet or like if I had watermelon or grapefruit I would have coke balance it out healthy with unhealthy right you guys get it <laughs> okay now we're putting this baby in and uh this is taking a whole 45 minutes and but can i joke to you and tell you that the kitchen was prepped for me <laughs> the rice krispies box was taken out and uh 
So we're the marshmallows, so it's more than 45 minutes to take this. We are slaving here. I hope my fiance hears this. So he can be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> and you tell me I don't work in the kitchen! I do shit in the kitchen, as you can see. See, I have to record to prove that I do something. Because, you know, if I, if I don't show it, it didn't happen, right? That's how it goes. Hilarious. Ah, uh, so much fun. I want to do another, I have a live stream planned to talk about SARS and when I was quarantined during SARS. So that's, that's going to be a, a live stream coming up. And, uh, yeah. But that was, that was like in 2003. So that was 17 years ago. And I have a picture of me from back then. I'm going to have it as a thumbnail. I'm all excited about that. And I was telling my friend, I'm doing it, it's like, who wants to know about SARS? And I'm like, people are looking into SARS because of the um, coronavirus. And I think it's, look at this, so stringy. Um, oh yeah, because I was supposed to put margarine on my spatula. I'm being difficult. This is not my first time, it's my second. I'm joking, it's, <laughs> I've done it more. Because <laughs> this is the recipe to do, you know. I remember a long time ago there was a commercial of the woman, uh, the mom in the kitchen, like supposedly sleeping around it, and she was like watching soaps or something. A long, long, long time ago. It was funny. It's like, yeah, this does take forever. And my fiance is a really good cook, and a cook, or like knows how to cook and stuff. So he knows how long things take, so if nothing gets past him, he's like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm like, well, you want me to do it, you don't want to do it, so that's what happens. I'm cooking, so appreciate it. This is cooking, right? <laughs> One day when he'll decide to go on stream, he's gonna make so much commentary and embarrass me so much. If he's listening to me, he could be watching YouTube. I was calling him earlier this morning because I got a phone call from um, insurance. And I'm like, we wanna know what you're doing with your money. And I'm like, I'm fine, I'm doing this. And they're like, you can't do that. And I'm like, can I do this? And they're like, before we can answer your question, we have to, uh, we have to ask you security questions. I'm thinking, excuse me, you're gonna tell me what to do with my money and blah, blah, blah. But now because I say what I'm going to do with the money, that's not an option with your company. You tell me I have to answer security questions. I'm like, can you just send me the paperwork in the mail? Hi, what was that comment? Hi, Rattan. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you online. Thanks for joining. And so I'm ta talking about how the insurance company called me this morning and they wanted to tell me what my options were. Meanwhile, I told them and they're like, that's not an option. I'm like, this isn't an option. And he, and he said, before you can answer, before he can answer, he, I have to ask, I have to, he has to ask me security questions. And I said, like, is this coming in the mail? I am from Canada. I am in Canada. There's still snow on the ground, and um, and what else? It's melting. Today's, I think, high of 11. I'm really struggling to put the Rice Krispies. Yeah. Oh, Rattan Creations. Yeah, it's uh, high of 11 degrees Celsius. The last few days um, has been plus temperatures. It's been like plus 2, uh, plus 6, plus 3. Today is Tuesday. Last Thursday, we were told we'd get a snowstorm, and I'm like, yeah, right. What's your temperature in India? I was like, it's not, it's not going to snow. And then we were supposed to have the hot temperature. It's like, yeah, but even though we're having this nice hot temperature, I'm really struggling with this. Oh, my God. See? Hi, welcome. This is my struggle. I can't get these flat. I have to use a... Um, they want me to add butter to my spatula, and I've wanted to avoid that. So you know what I might do? I'm not gonna rest. I'm not gonna have this melted like this. Let me know what the temperature is in your location. What's what's the temperature in India? 26, 33, and my way off, and it's like 46. You guys have winter now, right? So like, do you have like cooler temperatures? Excuse my ignorance. 23, huh? Yeah, not that hot. I mean, 
way hot compared to here. My house isn't even that hot. <laughs> I have it set for like 20, I think right now, or 19 and a half, and I'm feeling hot because I'm struggling with this. I'm struggling. Let me put that down. I'm getting it around the cord, that's great. Um, I'm gonna use another spatula. This big one got free. That was exciting. So if the person's watching, thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> I can't show my house right now. My hands are sticky and I'm in the kitchen cooking. So this is, this is the kitchen area and I'm making the Rice Krispies squares. So I'm just being crazy and doing that. Maybe a little bit less. Do you, do you make anything in the kitchen? What do you like doing in the kitchen? Besides eating, because, you know, that's the best. Right? Eating and drinking. Finding the drinks in the kitchen. Boom. Okay. Flattening this out. No, your answer was no. Let me look at the answer. Enough. Forgive me if I burp. Excuse me. No, you don't cook. Ah. See, that's kind of smart. <laughs> kind of smart. If you claim you can't cook, somebody else has to do it for you, right? Or you have to fend for yourself or go out and shop. Sometimes what I do is I'll just order food in. At least when I was single, I would do that. Be like, if I can't go get myself into the grocery store to go buy food, because it takes time to get there and then buy it, wait for it things to check out and then go home and blah 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 I'll just order pizza I love doing that you know what I'm happy getting this amount of rice krispies in because the other batch I did do the 250 grams and it was flatter and this has a lot more it moves ta-da not bad eh Smells yummy. So, this is supposed to like air dry kind of thing. I can't leave it out because I have these crazy pets, as you may have seen one of them, comes up and decides to eat and share his, uh, share steel food, you know? So we would have to hide it. So it can either go in the microwave or it can go inside the oven. I might stick it in the microwave. The thing is, you gotta remember it's in there. That's the trick, right? <laughs> that is the one trick, one requirement. So here is my food. Mm. This took 40 minutes to make. I slaved through it. Now I have to go shower, lay down, rest. All right? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just saying it's so my fiance can hear. <laughs> Is a dog coming? Oh my god, this is delicious. What time? I was in your country. Well, Canada is really big. I think we have four time zones. Or five. I am right now, it is... I have to look on my phone. If it lets me... It's 2.42 p.m. So, in... Um, Military time, it's 14.42. Yeah. And you are 13 hours ahead? Is it like 3 in the morning or is it 1 in the morning? 11 or 13. You're not 12 hours. So is it all 4 in the morning? Well, I'm going to take a look now. What you wrote. Just drying my hand so I can touch my phone. Oh, 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 10 and a half hours. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's not bad. When do you go to bed? I've been going to bed really late. Last night I went to bed at like 4 a.m. 4, 5 a.m. And I was going to be up. Hi, welcome, thank you for joining. I was going to be up this morning to put my video up, but um, 
there was a situation on my Facebook where all these people were friending me and like I mean like hundreds and hundreds of people and they uh, were sending inappropriate things and they were starting conversations and I didn't even know hi <laughs> um, not here Guinness Guinness comes usually Guinness Hi, buddy. You want to come? Let me go get him. It's a buddy. Uh, uh, come to the party. It's not scary. He's like, Mommy's moving too fast. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if I like it. So here's Guinness. Did I win a lot? At what? I will pay... Mobile? What? Sorry. Hey, where are the kitties? Brendan, they are here. Well, here's one. I saw Butterball on the couch in the living room, and I don't know where Pepper is. I didn't take a look. The game he plays. Oh, you're asking him if he wins at this game called P <laughs> PUBG? I will pay PUBG Mobile. Do you win a lot at PUBG? Okay, yeah, I've never heard of this, so feel free. Yep, you got it right. Thank you. And there he goes. He was here earlier. Hi, welcome. And he does get into the sink and he sits there. And like I was saying earlier, he sticks his head and he's like, this is the counter and he's like this. And sometimes he's crouching like he thinks we can't see him or something. It's like, are you going to find me? What are you getting? I want to see what you're getting. They're not allowed on the counters. He gets to be allowed to to be on the, in the sink because he likes to lick it when it's empty. He's crazy. He licks the faucet. Or he waits for the water to come down and he smacks it. Check his account, mortal for the Pug G mobile app game. I'm following. <laughs> can you believe I haven't even had breakfast yet? I think you can, right? Let me get Butterball for you. One moment, my other kitty cat. Guinness is still here, he might come up. Oh, I see Pepper. All three cats are in the living room. So Guinness is cleaning himself on the floor. Miss Butterball was sleeping. So here's Miss Butters. And I cleaned her eye poop for you guys. I don't know if you can hear. So here's her. She's like, what's going on? And I'm getting hair. Her hair. I'm going to see uh, our crispy squares are over there. She doesn't feel safe. She sticks her claws out like her nail. This nail is digging into me. Thank you, she's a cutie. But she's also scared. She's so funny. She's seven years old. I've had her since she was six, ten weeks. Nine weeks, and okay, she's doing good. Do you know any Indian food item? I'm not good with names, and I can't handle spice, but I do like Indian food. There's a place I go to in the city that's, uh, Brendan, have you heard of it? It's at, I don't remember the name, it's at Ellesmere, west, sorry, east of Macowan, on the north side. There's her nails. Can you see the nails? <laughs> I don't remember. It's like, you can pick up the fast food there, and you can choose, like, the spicy. I can't do eggs in the Indian foods. And I can't do spicy, so every time I go, they go there, they laugh. Yeah! Can be foods. It's delicious. Have you had them? Sometimes there's, like, almost nothing for me, because it's like, what's not spicy? And they laugh. <laughs> or, like, what doesn't have egg? So my friend showed that to me. Hi, welcome. So my, my friend showed me. Yeah! So, yeah, I don't know what the Indian food's called, but I like it. Yeah, as long as it's not spicy because I can't handle it. And I know you guys have different spice. Like, I cook with 
yellow curry. I've done that. That's delicious. Like making rice with it and chicken. Mm. So I, I used to go to the Hopper Hut, but they aren't good anymore. I don't know names. Is that one called Lawrence or something on the south side? Or am I thinking of another place like where the Swiss chalet is beside the bridge, which is in Midland? I don't know Modi. I don't know if you're talking to me or it's, excuse me, or if you're talking to Brandon about the Pug G game or is this a type of food? Can you tell me more about Modi Rattan? And Brandon says it's next to the Highland Farms. This was called what again? H, you called it H something. Hopper Hut. Okay, no, I haven't been there. Is that not where that dentist clinic was that had the robbery some many years ago? I am so off. So no, I don't know Modi. <laughs> You're Prime Minister of India, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. We went from food, from games, from food to... T-Series is huge. I watched them. They're number one, right? If they're still number one. They are massive. Bye, Rattan. They are massive. They have, like, what, hundreds and hundreds of... Uh, of of uh actors are they actors the dancing the singing i was blown away i'm like is this like a hollywood movie like are they they're a production company right and they just have free free um ac access to, they have access to media to go out right away without like advertising i mean they can still pay for advertisers and whatever the heck else movie producers pay but it was like a movie watching them dancing Oh my god, excuse me with my pop. Let me get pepper for you. My third cat, the gray cat. If I can get her to come here. Uh, PewDiePie made a video congratulating him for beating him in subs. Oh my god. I've been watching a little bit of PewDiePie. It seems like it's a little... Mindless, can I say? There, he just, he, he, the ones that I've seen, I don't know if he has other episodes, but I've seen him where he goes to Reddit and he's got a PewDiePie channel of rating stuff. So he watches like a clip or a picture with some words and then he says if it's approved or not approved by his PewDiePie standards. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. So I've seen the funny where it just keeps going, but then sometimes I don't get the humor. Um... And he's got a lot of lingo, like he, it's harder for a new person to join to start appreciating it with all his terms that you guys, you and everybody else has followed. The cat is playing. She's. Yeah, it takes time, so I was appreciating it, but it's a mouse with the rice inside. So this is her play. She was feral, right? Let me just hold this better so it's not shaking. What a weirdo. I don't know if you heard sounds before, but she was... Really? That's her game? Have your cats ever caught a mouse or a bird out there? They've never been outside, so no. I don't know if I mentioned it, but Guinness really hates birds and my fiance found that out because he'll we were playing we were having the um on the ipad we were having games on for cats and he likes the uh mouse the black mouse running around the yellow screen and he likes the orange fish running around the blue screen and he'll smack it so he got into the birds where there's just birds up close on the screen sitting and he gets angry and he smacks it and then when like my fiance was watching something on TV, on, on his screen, birds came on and Guinness got angry again. But Guinness is getting so cute because he's paying attention to the screens. So as my fiance is sitting there holding him and watching, Guinness, the cat, is staring at the screen too and together they are watching. And 
he'll still like smack the screen but no they never caught anything guinness particularly hates birds um i assume loosely that butterball has captured a bird see i'm not even convinced she's captured a bird before i got her show him the channel called paul dinny he made videos for cats okay okay do what cat what uh what videos do your cats like do they prefer a mouse or a bird or do they like string or do they even notice anything let me get uh what's that cat's name <laughs> let me get pepper for you one sec But I want you to, I want to know where you're putting me down. See? This is what she does. She's done this most of her entire life is uh, pulling her hair out from here. Her nails are out. She's not happy. There's a hair floating. Hi, Pepper. At least her heart rate isn't going fast like, like uh, Butterballs would. Yeah. I'm so impressed she's not screaming. That's good, Pepper. That's nice. Nice pep for so Butterball went to drink water and then she came back. That's them. Guinness! When I call Guinness, the dog comes running. <laughs> and Butterball doesn't like uh, almond. Is almond ready? I'm just gonna check what you wrote. Morty loves the mice. I thought Guinness loved mice too, yeah. Does she whine when you pick her up? No, she will like scream, like um, hiss, and make the noises for like, excuse me, let me off. There is no whining from her. It's She's just straight up angry. That's what's happening. Almond, come. Raised bungalow, so she's coming up the stairs. Alala? Hi, baby. No, you have to. She's she wants food. Almond. Hi, baby. Mandy. Let me do this. Let me see if I can do this. Does that help? There's my mess. Mandy, the my baby. It's a wiggy poo. It's a little girl. That's a baby. Hi. This is Mandy. She's tiny. She's a tiny girl. She's like, but food? Is there food? It's like, yeah, there's food. There's Rice Krispies right here. You can have rice. You can have rice. You cannot have corn. She's allergic to corn. She is. This is how I remember their age. You're asking how old the dog is. I remember their ages because of six, seven, eight. So I'm like, okay, Guinness is six. Pep, uh, Butterball is seven, almonds eight, and then we have the 15 year old. So she's, yeah, she's eight. She'll be nine in October. Butterball is not the youngest. I'm always confusing her with the youngest because she's a dum dum. <laughs> um, so she'll be eight in August, and Guinness will be seven September 1st. It's crazy. Like, that they're reaching like adulthood because I saw a chart somewhere and it said adult is from age seven or sorry, advanced adult or something. And I'm like, are you crazy? Like this girl hasn't even learned life yet. <laughs> she's, she's so special. <laughs> the blonde one. Hi, I have all this Rice Krispies for you. Yes, I do. But let me get a bowl for you. These bowls are like readily available because we're always uh, feeding them, right? Oh, figure. They want to eat like twice a day. It's crazy. <laughs> I have them on scheduled feeding because they're on special diets. So here's the Rice Krispies that fell out of the uh, box. Sorry, fell out of the bag when I was pouring it in to make my Rice Krispies squares. Okay, let me take this to your bowl. Awake. Pepper doesn't want nothing to do with it. Butterball is on screen. 
And then we have Giannis, who's, oh, that's Butterball. This is called Butterball. And that is Giannis. There's the party. She was downstairs. He did not scratch, no. Uh, no, I almost felt like something here, but there's no, there's no scratch from Guinness. And uh, he probably left hair, but it's Butterball that leaves the white hair. The, I don't, can you see that hair? She leaves the fluff hair. I, I thought Pepper had, oh yeah, it's hard to see. I thought Pepper had the bad hair, but, uh, cause I would call it like cobweb hair, but Butterballs is worse. And I do have to brush her hair. She loves being brushed with the Furminator. So I have, oh yeah, we talked about it. I found the Furminator, it fell down behind the um, table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Meeting at three, switch to audio. Okay. Oh my God, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Talk to you later, have a good one. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> So there's two of the pets, and I have four, as you've seen, and if you want to see them again, feel free to let me know. We got Pepper the Geriatric, and uh, she left. I'm happy she's here. Oh my god, I said she's gone. She's right there. She's right there. She's getting her fix, and she's happy, girl, because her tail is doing her little thing. This little... Think the little uh, tip going this way, this way indicates that she's happy. If she's angry, if cats are angry, they wag their tail and it's like a kind of like a whip once, a whip two. That's when they're not happy. When dogs wag their tail, they're happy. And again, to clean. She loves margarine. She's uh, in my family. <laughs> Let me know. Do you have do you have pets? I'm trying to be like in a spot where you can see both of these crazies. That's that's the one that was feral that I picked up from outside. And I got this girl from a friend and she's now 15 years old. I had her since she was two, so I've had her for 13 years. And I call her a cockroach. Whenever they get on countertops, it's the gray cockroach and the black cockroach. <laughs> and when they both jump together, it's quite a sight because it's like two massive cockroaches. <clears throat> jumping up and being annoying but um, this guy as far as I can tell no C except for a uh, dog hair does not have cat hair the dog hair was on the side it's, it's gone so I'm sticking it into the microwave to keep it safe oh the dog's like what <laughs> It's a party here. I'm so happy I got to record this and I can live stream and show you guys how crazy this family is. There's uh, there's Miss Thing. So we got Pepper. Almond the dog is walking away. We have Butterball here. I She was playing with the cat toy, right? And now she's not. So that's interesting. But she's such a pretty girl. And then Guinness, who is the most active in the kitchen, has decided not to be in the kitchen, which is... A turn of events but that's yeah she's happy that's still it looks questionable right because almost the whole tail is moving but she's still happy and she's probably going back to sleep in her spot Mondi it had butter no not good enough my old dog chocolate when you see videos of him he would eat everything like I got him since he was a puppy. Hi, thanks for joining. I got him when he was a puppy from the shelter and I would be like, no, you have to lick the crumbs too. Like, you wanted something? That's what you get. Hi, poopy pants. Hi, my baby. Mwah. Hi, baby. Did you want to go balcony? She wants balcony. Let's go. Balcony means we're going to the backyard. Mommy opens the door and you can go work. Did it rain? Oh, no. And I say, oh, no. She's outside now. 
I say oh no to the rain because I had a tarp drying outside uh, because I put it into the wash um, and had it drying. Sorry, then I put it into the dryer for like four hours. I think it was a, an hour 59 seconds. I put it twice and every time I would put it into the dryer, it rolls like, like a toilet paper roll. It just gets rolled up. So I would like unroll it and then I would put it back in and it would just roll and you hear the uh, the dryer going dum, 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 hitting the sink next to it and it's like oh, this is so dark. excuse me we don't need to like put it into the dryer twice stick it outside to dry i have a it's a raised bungalow so the main floor is higher than the lower floor because you it's a bungalow it's one level but you go up and then you go down like over there over there you go down the stairs so my backyard uh, deck is really highly elevated. It's five feet from the ground. So I threw the tarp over the railing five feet down before it can touch the grass. <laughs> it's dangling and drying. And now it's wet because it rained because I saw the deck sweat. I'm like, really? <laughs> so it's going to take extra long time for that thing to dry. I can't stick it in the dryer because it keeps rolling up. Like my comforters, my blankets, my towels, they don't do this. And I can put lots of them in there and they don't do that. They do a little bit, but this one actually goes into a roll like a toilet paper. And it's like, unroll it, unroll it, unroll it. It's like, stop doing that. I want you to dry. I'm like, this is a new dryer. <laughs> it really can't fix every problem. That's what I know. Where's my cat? Where are my cats? Let me get a cat. Oh, she's drinking water again. So she's going to come back. Let me know if you have any questions about the pets or something like that I did finish baking I am loving this live stream thank you so much for joining I really appreciate it uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already uh, like if you haven't already liked this video uh, if you do if you don't let me know what I can make it what I can do to make it better um, when you do hit the, the bell for notifications you can know when I post my videos and when I put the live streams up because I am planning to do more live streams. I'm very excited about them. As you can see, I'm enjoying doing them. And uh, there's Miss Butterball. She's my fluffy cat. Hi, welcome. I finished baking, baking, oh my God. <laughs> it's the no baking baking. I did Rice Krispie Squares. <laughs> and they're in the microwave now. So anyways, thank you so much for joining. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.